Guys, Sharpness Prime here, doing another Jack specific action figure review on the Super Mario Brothers movies Mario figure. Yes, I did see the movie, and I am definitely buying this thing on digital streaming because, yeah, watched it in the theater with my kids. We all had a great time. Absolutely love the movie. I mean, what else can I say? I think everybody pretty much loved the movie, right? I absolutely loved it. We get a bunch of spot varnished mushrooms throughout over here. You can see Mario on the side, and then on the back. You can see a park shot right over there and then oh yeah you get the question mark boxes and eggs are there eggs oh stars and yeah stars mushrooms and question mark boxes anyway uh, it says he's got realistic eyes premium details and he has 16 points of articulation on this side you can see mario right over there and then the window creeps up to the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your jack specific figures you can do so at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> here is Mario out of the packaging and I gotta say first impressions of this figure I am fairly underwhelmed yeah I mean I'll talk about the price point more a little bit later on but yeah uh, I wish there was more going on with this figure however there is some interesting stuff going on here which I didn't expect some neat stuff I don't know how much I like it, but anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessory, and then we'll take a closer look at Mario. So we get one accessory with this figure. We get the plunger right here, which is okay. I really mean that, like, okay, I guess. Y you know, I'd rather have had a fireball or a set of interchangeable hands, like some fisted hands would have been really good. It's not really even sculpted all the way through, or, you know, I wish they left a gap right here so it looked a little bit more realistic. So there you go, you got a plunger, fits into the right hand easily, and yeah, that's the only accessory. Fireball, something else, ah, but just this, nope. <laughs> so this head sculpt is really weird, man. I like it, but at the same time, it freaks me out, and it's a little tricky to pose sometimes. They have this feature right here with these eyes, it's this illusion where no matter what, he's looking at you. And it's kind of weird, because, yeah, if you want him running at an angle like this, he's going to be looking at you the whole time instead of looking forward. I like it, but at the same time, I don't like it. I do like how creepy it is, though. He's just always looking at you, and I think that's just really cool. I don't know, there's something fun about it. Now, this Mario has all kinds of detail that I'm not used to seeing on Mario figures, whether from Jack Specific or SH Figure Arts. You can see the hat right here has all kinds of wrinkles sculpted in it. I feel like it's a little heavy-handed with these wrinkles right over here. Maybe a little bit smoother towards the front would have looked a little better. I like the stitching right here. Nice, clean paint applications, nice details in the stash. The stash is supposed to be black, and the hair is supposed to be brown. That's right. And the flesh tone is pretty solid, no shadowing effect or anything like that. The nose looks like it's a different color, and that's not supposed to be like that. So they used a different kind of plastic or something right over there. So that's a gripe of mine. I do like the sculpt of it right here with the overalls. Nice gold paint. You can see stitching throughout. So I do like the details. There's looking at the back, nice stitching once again. And then there's stitching right through the middle right there. I love that they added the little uh, coin pouch uh, pin or button right there nice gold so cool details so yeah there's some nice details on here that I really do like uh, I don't know if it's missing paint or anything the paint looks pretty solid for what you need it to be nice little line sculpted right there again I wish it had interchangeable hands a set of fists would have been great for this right here the shoes or the boots look fantastic well, look at that nice details right over here with the laces and everything and the hoops I like that, and then the bottom of the boots have some nice detail right here as well. It's all sculpted, not painted, but man, it looks really good. So the articulation on this figure is all right. Not the greatest, but not the worst. And I do have the SH Figure Arts Mario over here, and I'll do some comparisons with the articulation. First off, this one does not have a waist cut. There's no waist cut over here on this figure. We get that over here. Anyway, getting to it, you can turn the head side to side. 
uh, it will not really look up so much or down that much or pivot. You really just get, oh, it wobbles, but doesn't really stay well. So you mostly just get the side to side motion. The shoulders will move up and outward that far. They move in that much. You could rotate a full 360. You have a single jointed elbow and you get rotation at the elbow. And if that looks weak to you compared to the SH Figure Arts, uh, I feel like it's about the same range of movement right there between the two of them. So it's yeah, it's about the same. Uh, you get a wrist swivel, no hinge, same deal on the SH Figure Arts. You get the waist cut right here that we talked about a second ago, or I talked about. Anyway, you can move the legs outward that much, and he'll kick forward. Uh, back, uh, not much at all. Upper thigh cut, single jointed knee that actually does bend in, I think, a little bit better than the SH Figure Arts figure. I feel like there's more of an angle on the Jack specific one. You know, so that's pretty cool to see. And then you get a ball joint for the ankle, turns side to side, moves down a little bit. It doesn't really move up too much, and it does have a tiny bit of ankle pivot. You almost have to, oh, I was going to say you have to half it on that joint right there to get a better ankle pivot, <clears throat> but it just popped it off completely. But without halving it, it'll kind of shift over. I feel like the ankle pivot on the figure arts one is better. You just get more movement at the ankle over here with this figure than this one. And to measure out this Mario figure, you can see that it is standing just at around five inches tall, a little taller than five inches. And then for a Jack specific comparison, you can see we have Mario next to the Tanuki Mario and we have Bowser over here. And I'm probably going to pass on the movie Bowser figure. I'm okay with that. Same thing with the Donkey Kong. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really scale. Uh, these are meant for like the video game versions. This is clearly the movie version. Then here's our movie Mario next to our SH Figure Arts video game figures of Mario and Luigi. And I wanted to just bust them out here in case this Mario would fit with Luigi, which he doesn't. So, I don't know. I'm thinking of picking up the Luigi figure from the movie now. I, I just got to see this, though. Uh, my biggest gripe with this figure is the lack of interchangeable fisted hands. And I can't believe this actually works. Wow. Just unfrickin' believable. Now, the hand does look a little on the small side. I don't know. It looks okay. I can't believe you could just port those on there. What the hell? Like, the ports just happen to match perfectly what the heck jeez now you may want to heat up the hands before removing them for whatever reason this hand's easy to pop off this one not so much and then here's the mario figure next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time inner letdown spider-man Ooh, looking pretty snazzy over there mario give me a fist bump huh we get you your hands are stuck oh kind of like mine oh so no fist bump <coughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have a whole bunch of cool content coming your way on this channel. Whole bunch of other cool figures I want to review for you guys. So stay tuned. And this video was a little bit weird to make because I feel so weird about this Mario. At least it's memorable. Like, part of me still hasn't really totally decided whether or not I like it. I definitely don't like the price that I paid for it though. Um, at Target, it cost me 25 bucks. And I just saw on my phone that the Target Online app has it available for $19.96 or something. So I'm gonna go back and get it price matched, get my five bucks back, you know. Uh, if you could find it for cheaper, I think it's more worth it. For such a small figure with barely any accessories and just the one accessory, which isn't even really that great, I would have preferred a fireball interchangeable hands of course like I mentioned it's not terrible it's just too much money for what I'm getting over here I do like the added sculpted detail the paint applications that we have here are pretty good the nose color stands out just a little bit to me I honestly didn't really notice it until I was reviewing the figure I'm gonna keep it real with you guys it didn't stand out that much but it's there so I had to discuss it and it looks all right. It depends on how desperate you are for a Mario figure. I know the SH Figure Arts one has gone up in price, hasn't it? I don't know. I haven't checked, but, it, you know, the SH Figure Arts came out hella years ago. And I know that's gone up in price. I'm sure the past Jack-specific figures went up in price. So it could be one of those things where it makes sense to buy it if you don't want to pay a whole ton for it. But I'm not that thrilled about it. And at the price point of around $20, I'm going to give this Mario figure a sud rating of. I'll wait for the Black Friday sale. It's really not bad. Like, the eye thing makes the stop motion hard, along with the photography. Like, that's tricky. 
But it's still a fun figure, and the articulation is about the same as SH figure So it's not really that bad. I, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. We have a live stream tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on Thursday. And if not, I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, we am sure Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.